Hello everyone, Mizram here, bringing you today a new series called Advanced Mechanism, where we're going to take a look at each individual heroes to see what they can and what they can do mechanically speaking. Today we're going to take a look at Faceless Void, also known as Dark Terran Dota 1. Faceless Void is a melee agility carry hero with a base movement speed of 300, which is pretty much standard. His level 1 stats though are very good, 587 HP and 61 damage, those are the two highest values in all agility heroes. However, he has a starting mana pool of 195, which is fairly low, but not uncommon for carry heroes. Starting armor is 3, which is pretty much standard for a agility hero, but his starting stats are not that good. The average in all agility heroes is 18 strength, 22 agility, and 17 intelligence, whereas the faceless void has 23, 21, and 15. You can see that his starting strength is pretty good, but agility and intelligence is under the average. Now that is not the only problem that Face of Void has. He has an extremely shitty uh, st stat gain. 1.6 strength per level, 2.65 agility, and 1.5 intelligence. Whereas the average of agility heroes have 1.9, 2.6, and 1.7. That means his strength gain and intelligence gain are subpar, while his agility gain is barely average, which is not something you want for your carry hero. Now, for the more technical aspects of the Faceless Void, he has a standard vision field of 1800 AoE during the day, 800 during the night. His attack point is 0 0.5, which means he has 0 0.5 seconds before hitting his target with the mace, and his cast time is 0 0.35 seconds, during which he can be silenced or stunned and his spells won't fire up. Let's start with Faceless Void's first ability, Time Walk. Time Walk is a pseudo blink ability that allows Faceless Void to go from point A to point B while being invulnerable. Every point in this ability will increase the slow by 5% and the range by 200, as well as decreasing the cooldown by 2 seconds. Now keep in mind that the slow not only apply on target destination, but also in the path. And you have to remember that there's also attack speed slow as well yes. as the movement speed slow. So now I'm gonna show it. To you. I'm just gonna go blink over those creeps and you're gonna see that the little icon shows that they have indeed been slowed down by the time walk. Now keep in mind that Faces Void time walk doesn't disjoint projectile unlike many blink spells so as you can see here I take the damage from the Enchantress Impetus. And just to show you that it's not the Impetus that is the exception but the time walk I'm gonna show you the, the example with the blink from anti-mage. So now I'm gonna blink away from the impetus and you can see that anti-mage takes no damage. Same if I use a blink dagger, I'm not gonna take any damage from the impetus. Now there's still a way to dodge the damage from the impetus and that is by impacting the projectile in the air. Because you're invulnerable during the time walk, you can actually dodge the impetus by throwing yourself at it. And this is the same for any other projectile. Now keep in mind that uh, f time walk is still pretty buggy. Uh, I'm not showing it in this video because I couldn't record it, but many times when I tried, I actually was damaged, although uh, I was blinking yes. into the projectile. So normally, fast projectile, you will be able to dodge by just uh, time walking away from it, but slow moving projectile, like the Enchantress Impetus, you will have to try to impact it, otherwise you will go faster than them and they will still follow you. Void's second spell is a passive called Backtrack. At level 4, it allows him to dodge 25% of all incoming damage, and that means spells included. Indeed, it's not an invasion. In Dota 1, it was coded as a heal, and that means, yes, it does stack with Butterfly. In fact, you can see the two different sources of dodge. Whereas when there's the blue proc on Void, it means it's Backtrack which procced. When there's the red message on top of Lion, it means that it's actually the Butterfly which procced. Now, although you dodge the damage, you do not dodge the CC. You can see here that I dodge damage from the Impel, but I'm still stunned. So Backtrack does not prevent you from getting stunned or disabled. The Backtrack also works through Hex. As you can see here, I can still proc wh when I'm in a frog form. And in fact, it also works through Doom. So nothing can stop Void's Backtrack. You see here that some ticks of, Vo of Doom I actually dodge because I have the Backtrack. And for the last little bit of information, your illusion do not gain any benefit from backtrack. Void third skill, called Time Lock, is a passive ability that grants Void a percentage chance of stunning his enemy and dealing extra magical damage whenever he attacks them. 
Leveling this ability increased the stun percentage by 5% per level as well as increasing the damage dealt by 10. The stun duration is constant 1 second across all level, and as you can see here with the Enfeeble, Void deals 0 damage, however the damage, extra damage by the stun still applies because it's magical damage. The item Skull Basher doesn't stack with Time Lock. In fact, in Dota 2, this item is even disabled to face this Void, he can't buy it, same as Pudge can't buy Blink Dagger. The item Abyssal Blade, which is the natural evolution of Skullbasher, is also impossible to buy for Faces Void. Time Lock goes through BKB, at least partly. The stun does go through BKB, but the extra damage, magical damage, does not. This is because BKB prevents from taking any magical damage. If you actually want to avoid getting killed late game by a very very fed void, try to buy instead a Ghost Scepter and not a BKB. Like many other passive, time lock doesn't work on illusions, which means that your, your illusion won't deal extra magical damage and they won't be stunning your enemy. In Dota 1 there was a fake stun animation which doesn't exist anymore in Dota 2, that means it doesn't prevent you from stunning your enemy anymore with your main hero. Lastly, we saw how Backtrack was unaffected by Doom. This is not the case for Time Lock. As you can see here, I'm not stunning nor am I dealing extra damage to Doom, which is normal because Doom is supposed to disable all passives. Now into the most interesting part of the video, Chronosphere. Chronosphere is Void Ultimate. It blocks everyone in the AoE, they can't move, they can't attack allies or enemies except for Void. It can be improved by the Aghanim Scepter, which increased the duration as well as decreased the cooldown drastically. And also, I was a bit lying when I say only Void can move. Actually, Void, Void's Illusion, Void's Controlled Minions, and Void's Summon can move in it. So you can see that Faces Void Illusion can move, the Necronomicon units can move, and as well as the Satyr Hellcore that I actually converted with the Helm of Dominator. So all this little army can attack, move, and do anything they like under the Chronosphere. Chronosphere also grants vision, which is not very interesting per se, but it's very good to know. It also dispels some buffs, such as evasion. So you see here that Winrun used the Winrun, but I actually cancel her evasion by using the Chronosphere. It works the same against, for example, Butterfly. And this is not the only buff that it, uh, you know, stops. You have Bounty Hunter that goes in this, and if I actually cast the Chronosphere on him, he's revealed. This is something different from the reveal of, uh, you know, I said that uh, Chronosphere gave vision. You have to be under the Chronosphere to be revealed. And something else to note is you can use Yule on your enemies under the Chronosphere, which is not really important, but you never know. And you cannot use Force Staff on enemy units or ally units under the Chronosphere, except for Void. So you can push Void away from his targets. And there's also something else to note is that if you play Dota 1, Chronosphere actually stops the status. So for example, if you were hexed 3 seconds, you would stop the hex at 3 seconds, and you would actually be hexed 3 seconds after. It's not the case here, it's only like a stun. So you can see here that uh, Witch Doctor used the Ghost Scepter, and the Ghost Scepter runs out of duration in the middle of the Chronosphere, and the BKB also doesn't prevent anything from uh, the Chronosphere, so BKB against Chronosphere is not really a good deal. So you're telling me uh, BKB doesn't work and a uh, Ghost Scepter runs out of duration in the middle of the Chronosphere, so what does work? Obviously Shadow Shaman's War don't, and that is the same for most structures, such as the Towers, such as the Fountain, they don't work under the Chronosphere. And here I'm using the Golem from Warlock to show you that even a magic immune unit, such as uh, Ancients, or Golems, or even Roshan, they aren't uh, they aren't able to work under the Chronosphere. Something that does work, though, is the Witch Doctor Ultimate, because as long as Witch Doctor is using it from outside the Chronosphere, it will still shoot, which is why it's a very good combo. Now I'm going to show you who can't uh, who can't blink. You know, uh, above the Chronosphere. So Mirana can't. She's get blocks in the. She get blocked in the side. Uh, Puck can. Morphling can. Uh, Anti Mage obviously can. And Faceless Void also can. Note that he gets actually blocked from the Chronosphere if he, it's not his Chronosphere. So you can see here. And Four Staff also gets blocked in the. You know, the side of the Chronosphere. It, you can't actually. You know, Four Staff from the sides to the middle or something. It gets blocked at the very very end of the Chronosphere. So thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you may, ha may have learned something. And I hope you to see you guys next time as I will produce more videos like this and more educative content as well as cast. And if you were interested by this, please uh, you know, subscribe and like this video, this will help me a lot. So thank you guys, see you later.